Hey guys, I'm Max. I'm a backend engineer here at GoLinks. I'm going to be showing you one of my personally most used GoLinks. So this is Go slash needs my review. Obviously the name could be different, but what makes this uh, link special is that it will automatically encode a filter to show us what PRs that I need to review specifically. And when I say I, that also applies to whatever user is going there. It doesn't show the reviews that I need. It shows the reviews that they need. So we can look at the URL here and you can see it's kind of a beastly URL. It gets pretty, pretty big in there, but thankfully with, uh, in our case, all we need to, uh, need to remember is needs my review. Nice and easy to, uh, to think about. We have other ones called needs review, needs my review. It makes it very easy to keep track of with those, uh, those small variations there. And it, it kind of just fits in your head the way you would talk. Um, so we could actually go here. I have this open already. So we can look and we could see that in here we have, a, uh, a filter already uh, already in here. So a lot of websites will actually store filters in the uh, URL. You can see that right at the top um, and we can see it back here on the Go link. What makes that great is that we can just throw that right into a Go link and we can just completely forget about it. And we can remember by its nice convenient name, needs my review. So if we look here, this just has the search here saved for us. And you can see there's a, something special here, this at me. A lot of websites have this. So this lets you specify the current user. So if I'm logged in, it's me. If my coworker is logged in, it's them. So it's nice and versatile. So everyone can take advantage of this. You don't need one, you know, needs my review Max, needs my review Justina. You need one of them. And it's easy to share that name around. No one has to make a new one. Everyone that's into the team can use this goal link right away and get all of the benefit. Now, this isn't just specifically uh, to GitHub. Uh, a lot of uh, services have this. Jira is another one where you could say, hey, uh, the current sprint, the current user, anything like that, and so, so many. I would say the vast majority of websites that have a search or a filter will save it in the URL here that we saw at the top. So again, if we look at the Go link, we can see it gets a little beastly. You're gonna see a lot of these in services. Again, a great example is Confluence or Jira or anything in the Atlassian suite. Uh, they can get pretty big, but Something that's really handy is those encode everything we need to know about the search. So all we have to do is keep is take that, throw it into a Go link, remember by an easy name, and now everyone can benefit from this and it makes it very easily shareable.